OpenAI's new text to video model, which is called Sora, is absolutely insane. Today on the podcast, I want to be breaking down the top 20 jobs that I believe it's going to be replacing. So while I'm extremely excited about the potential, I also have a lot of concerns about what this could be used for, as I'm sure many people do. And I don't think that, you know, we should really beat around the bush when it comes to discussing people and industries that are going to be impacted by this. You know, as my job here on the podcast, I really try to be as transparent as possible. And when I see big things coming down the pipe, or, you know, when I see um, big things that are going to have a big impact, I, I bring it up and I just confront it head on. So in an effort for more transparency, I want to cover 20 jobs. A lot of these are in the film industry, but a lot of other industries as well that are going to be replaced by AI and Sora combined. And it's kind of crazy. You know, I'm really going to try to focus this specifically on Sora, um, ChatGPT or OpenAI's um, text to video generator. It's absolutely phenomenal. It can generate up to 60 second long videos that are, you know, high quality. These things look amazing. I'm, I want to break down a little bit about how this actually works and how they've achieved this. Um, but then I want to dive into some of these jobs that I bl believe will be um, replaced and a lot of this is going to be automated. So the first thing I want to say is the reason why I believe Sora is so good We've seen others, right? And I recently on LinkedIn, I shared like a comparison of Sora versus Runway, which Runway up until now has kind of been the front runner um, AI video generator. And the thing you'll notice between the two, obviously Sora is significantly better. OpenAI absolutely hit it out of the park here. Um, and the reason why I believe they did that is Runway was really going at this, trying to kind of take like images and animate them and turn them into video. And it's kind of from like a single angle. What Sora did is I believe they actually used training data from um, 3D modeling software. So beyond just the video, it actually understands physics and everything that's in a scene and, and creates almost like a 3D map um, that the video can then move around. And so you can see all these really cool effects where it's not just you saying, hey, Sora, you know, create a video of a dinosaur running through the tundra. It's like create a video of a dinosaur running through the tundra as a drone flies around giving a panoramic view of the dinosaur. And it will be able to do that because it can understand this 3D kind of spatial um, awareness in it makes it in, absolutely incredible it, on top of everything else they've done to make this really high quality. So I just wanted to point out that one big differentiator because I think that makes um, a big impact on what we're about to talk about, why it's so much better beyond just kind of like animating pictures. The first thing that I believe it will replace is video editors. So I know a lot of people are like, hey, you know, this thing's just gonna generate video and we'll be the editors. I've actually seen some really impressive demos where essentially you see a piece of footage generated by Sora and you say, awesome, now make the same video, um, but you know, make it winter time. Okay, make the same video, but have the camera panning around. Okay, make the same video, uh, but cut out the part where the tree falls down at the end, right? Like. Anything you see, you can you can start to edit it with prompts, which is absolutely phenomenal. And I think this is going to, um, you know, I say it's going to replace video editors. Obviously, someone's editing that video, a person's doing it. It's going to change the tooling. And so I say video editors because kind of when you think of a video editor, you think of a person that's trained to use these tools. Those tools will change a lot. Now, there's still going to be probably a person doing it, um, but I think that that's going to change a lot. The second is actors for specific roles. You're going to be able to replace them with digital avatars in certain scenarios. Um, I've been saying this for a long time. You're going to be able to direct your own movies and pick the actors and actresses that you want in there. Um, and so I think you're going to be able to just get generic ones auto generated will be a big part of this, but you probably will be able to pay licensing and have, you know, famous actors play a role in a movie that you direct yourself. I believe that there'll be a platform that does this um, in the near future is voiceover artists. Um, now this isn't specifically video, but it's just such a huge part of the film industry and video that I, I wanna bring this up. There's so many incredible um, tools. Eleven Labs is you know the primary one um, and creating AI generated voices for video narration is going to be absolutely huge. And uh, that job I believe is largely gonna be automated. Even if you're an incredible voice artist, you could just record your voice, a, a couple samples, upload them to Eleven Labs' marketplace and sell your voice. So it's like you're still a voice artist, but it only requires you to do a little bit of work and now you can sell your voice forever and anyone can access it. I believe that's where voice artist work is gonna go. So voice artists will still be compensated, um, but they're not gonna be, act they won't need to be actively working and doing things per se. 
The fourth is script writers. This one's obvious with ChatGPT. I think we've all seen that AI can generate scripts for specific video content quite well. Cinematographers, I believe, are going to be replaced by virtual cinematography capabilities. Special effects technicians. So with this you know, technology coming out, there is no need for a special effects technician. You don't need to learn how to make the perfect explosion with smoke that goes this way and that way and does exactly what you want. You could just direct the video to do it. Um, so I believe that will be replaced. Storyboard artists. Um, scenes visualized from text descriptions by AI are going to completely replace these storyboard artists. Set designers. Um, of course, you're not going to need to do this like really costly um, thing of designing the set and building this whole thing because the creation of these virtual environments is going to completely replace what you have to do with a physical set. Costume designers. Um, this, of course, is for you know your digital characters, but you can use this to say, "Hey, um, you know, generate an elf that's like running through the forest." Okay, now make the elf's like costume look more futuristic. Okay, make it look more shiny. Okay, make it look more like earthy. Like you could just use descriptive words, and uh, it, it can do it. And you could also just say, "Hey, make it theme seem more in theme for the rest of the video, right?" So like, there's going to be this eventually will will go away. Of course, costume designers making physical costumes won't be uh, required for that. Number 10 is casting directors. Um, this is going to be, I think, done with AI generated characters. So that will be that role will be gone. Advertising copywriters, um, I think integrated into video content by AI for ads is how this is going to happen. News reporters. Um, there's going to be so much automated news reporting. AI avatars can present news segments and maybe you sell this in a way that says, hey, these people, you know, this AI is unbiased. So its take is going to be unbiased. Um, the th number 13 is educational content creators. Um, I think you're going to be able to have automated video creation for a lot of educational materials, which I personally learned so much better watching a video than reading something. So I would be all on board for this. Um, the number 14 is corporate trainers. So AI's, AI used to essentially create customized training videos, I think is phenomenal. I've heard of some demos and some tools that essentially like it's watching you watch the training live, the corporate training. And if you start getting bored, it like increases the volume and like adds a couple extra cuts and like tries to make it more engaging. Now, I know a lot of people are really creeped out by that, but I'm just saying this is where it's going. These things will be dynamic and they'll, you know, basically depending on what your role in the company is, these things will, will change. So you, you know, exactly what you need to know. Number 15 is an, or animation artists. So reducing the need for manual frame by frame animations, I think is obviously going to be huge. Number 16 is TV producers. So you are going to become the producer of this show. Um, and I think of whatever show you want to watch, whatever movie you want to watch, that's a huge thing that will go away. Number 17 is graphic designers. You don't actually need a graphic designer because in the AI generated video, you can just say, you know, create a logo for the store that's like super this or that or trendy. It creates it. And then in all the future clips, you just say like refer back to that. Um, number 19 is social media manager. As far as creating content goes and automated, you know, all this automated generation of really engaging video content is going to be able to be produced in the future. Um, and then number 20 is the film director. So AI can streamline the production process from script to post-production. I personally am actually going to be focusing next on building a tool. As for those that know, I have a no-code AI app builder and marketplace I'm developing called AI Box. Uh, we're currently crowdfunding for that. If you're interested, uh, I'll leave a link in the show notes to republic.com slash AI dash box. We've raised over 300 or $400,000 for it. Um, and so in any case, my next focus there will be um, having a team come and help us create an actual AI box, an actual tool on the platform that allows you to be a film director, have an API integration to this these tools, um, and you'll be able to pick your characters, you'll be able to use ChatGPT to help you with the script, with voiceovers, uh, you'll be able to use Eleven Labs, you'll be able to use, um, get inspiration for images with Midjourney, and eventually, you know, have uh, this tool that helps you actually create the, the film. So this is a big project, um, but I think this is one that I'll be putting a lot of attention on to be able to create full films using AI. It's completely possible. It's going to be absolutely crazy uh, to see how this rolls out. I think right now we're seeing a lot of innovation, but I will also say we have to address the real need for um, 
adaptation and also upskilling as this AI tech gets a lot better. Um, we don't want this to, you know, have too big of a disruption for people, but I think that there's going to be um, so many ways that this technology um, expedites uh, creativity. There's going to be so many new exciting movies uh, that are directed by re regular people, and I'm so excited to see it. So I'll definitely keep you up to date on when this is actually publicly available for everyone and what you're able to do it. And I'll keep you up to date on the amazing tools we're building for this over on AI Box um, to help you create, direct, uh, and edit your own movies. It's going to be very, very exciting.